Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It has been a long time since I've done a current chat for various reasons. So I have a whip in Lost Ocean by Johanna Basford. It's been sitting around for like forever. I got my little pens. I thought we'd have a quick catch up while I do a little bit of work on this double page spread. As you can see, there's a lot of it I haven't done. So I've, I'm gonna start on this edge really and uh, my pens, got my zoom, <laughs> let's uh, have, a, have a chat uh, and see what's going on, uh, see how you all are. <laughs> so I'm using um, a mixture of the Ohuhu um, water-based markers and Norris, the Stedler and Norris felt double-ended pens to colour this one in. It's ages I will be using some glitter gel pen on certain bits of it um, but uh, yeah let's just uh, put that out of the way and as I zoomed in all the way it is turn it put it down a bit and we go down not up so we can do go down on this one <laughs> we'll um, crack on so and we'll have a chat so how are you I apologize that it has been so long. There have been numerous reasons. I've been very busy. Normally I film my colouring chats in the evening and use this time for doing something else, for running my eBay business. However, just lately, Jennifer for the last couple of months uh, won't sleep in her room. She wants to be with me. So she's been sleeping in with me. Which I don't mind, but it means that not only is she sleeping in with me, but she wants me to go to bed at the same time she does. So that's fun, isn't it? You know, we we'll get to go to bed really early instead of like, you know, 10, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, whatever. So there's that. Um, the last week of the week before I have was ill with a chest infection. That was not fun. I did manage to read a lot of books, however. In fact, this month already I've read 32. You'll be seeing this on, what day is it? Day? Thursday, the 23rd of June, I believe. Um, and I've read 32 books and I've nearly finished another one. So, currently reading The Memoirs of Cleopatra. That's one I've, I've got about 200 pages to go. It's like 900 odd pages long. Um, most of it's like war tactics so it's a bit dull but it's also interesting because it's telling the story of uh, Cleopatra we're coming to the end now before just getting to the point where she kills herself because of Octavian so it's really good and I've last night started um, Thelia Owens uh, Where the Crawdads Sing and so far I'm really enjoying it it's 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 really sad actually and I'm only at the beginning so so yeah, but um, that's what's been going on. So it's been a little bit on the difficult side for me lately. I'm just trying to get one of these, this one here in focus so I can colour in her skin. Um, I mean, it's really just a pattern, but I quite like this. And I like this book. I haven't done anything with pencils in this book yet. It's all been like felt pens or fine liners, so. There's a fine line on the other side of these if I want it, so that's good. So I've been doing a fair few uh, TikToks um, lately. Of my, I've got two TikTok accounts. I've got a book one, mostly a book one. It's sort of like anything really, not just books. Um, just just called Andrea Life, so it's just about general life things. So sometimes there might be some colouring stuff on there. And I also have a, what's the other one? A Marilyn one, which is literally just on Marilyn Monroe. So a lot of things happened Marilyn wise since the last current chat, including the whole Kim Kardashian fiasco. Um, I actually went pretty viral <laughs> with uh, one of those uh, because my a video of the damage to the dress 
that Ripley's are interested in was already there and it wasn't because I know people who've seen the dress not long before the Met Gala um, and have photographs of taken of it not long before the Met Gala. Uh, so I know, and I, th these are people I would trust with my life. Uh, and so, and literally all it was was three photographs with some music behind it uh, and it, the views were coming in so fast it was ridiculous they were going on like 10,000 every half an hour um, if not more um, I went to bed um, and it was 105,000 views and when I woke up it was like 400,000 views <laughs> it was ridiculous um, that's the most viral I've ever been and probably ever will be but there you go it was big news, um, but still, my my Marion TikTok there on average around 400, 500 views, so I'm ha I'm happy with that. Considering I haven't got that many followers on the Marion account, I've got nearly a thousand on Andrea Life. If the light changes, it's because I've got the TV on in the background because I've been working this morning. Uh, I've just finished, and um, it's on screen saver. So I was watching a channel called Ask a Mortician is about obviously a mortician her name is Caitlin Doty um, and I've been watching that um, in between calls um, but it's on screen saver now so it's showing me the pictures that are on my phone because um, I use Amazon photos and my phone is linked to it so of course it uploads showing a Care Bears picture coloured there <laughs> Um, sometimes it's pictures of Jennifer and her friends, sometimes it's pictures of colouring, so. So Jennifer's fine, she's at nursery now, she's been at school this morning, she goes for two hours every day. And she is very happy. Uh, of course next September she goes to reception, which is pretty much a full day of school, proper school. Oh, I love her. She's growing up, she's getting so tall. Uh, she does so many cute things. She is very, very good. She's saying her pleases and thank yous a lot more. Especially the thank yous more than the pleases, I'll be honest. But she is saying them a lot more than she used to. So I'm really, really proud of her for that. Let's put this top back on that one for now. The drink. Another one, that's my second Coca Cola today. It's ridiculous. Here we go. Oh, I missed one. So these pens are double ended, uh, these dead little ones. You've got that tip, which is the one I'm using. It's quite big, but it's not that bad. And then we've got a big, thick one, but I haven't, I'm not using that one not on this picture. Pearl kind of speak picture, particularly. Now, there are some bits where there's a bit of uh, water damage because the cat knocked something on it cat knocks everything over because well she's a cat how do we know the earth is a is a ball and not flat because if it was flat cats would have knocked everything off the edge by now and ain't that the truth <laughs> let's see what's next this one so this is another one of these um oh hoo hoos so I like these pens, I use them a lot on a lot of things, mostly coloured by numbers but sometimes on, on things like this like filling in this little gap here and doing the bubbles in the background. So there's a lot going on, it's been very uh, busy, um, I'm trying to read because I mean most of what I do is read, I mean I've, I've not coloured much in June I've got to be honest just simply because when I was ill with my chest infection, I did not feel like colouring. Towards the end, I started doing a little bit, a couple of coloured by numbers. I felt so rough, I did not want to colour. So I was just reading, because all I wanted to do was read and sleep. So I'd read a few chapters and then I'd have a doze, wake up, read a bit more, then go back to sleep, etc, etc. But, oh my God, it's hard work. It's, it was hard work when I was, I could barely do anything. Um, couldn't play with Jennifer, I had to rely on Paul to do all that good stuff, all the fun bits, because I was just too ill. I'm on antibiotics and steroids to clear it. Luckily it's all gone now and I'm fine. Um, 
No, I've, only, I've literally only finished five colour by number pictures. I have got a couple of others that I want to finish. This probably won't finish this month, but I thought I'd do it on on here and do a colour and chat um, work in the whip um, because it's just a nice easy one for me to catch up with and then hopefully in the next one I'll find a book I want to colour in and just crack on with it. Yeah, I've got so many books I do want to colour more so I'm trying to finish off the whips I've got so I might do a few whip in the whips and chats until I've got them all done so so many of them I do want them gone I was swatching my what are they called my two and colour softs now I've got 48 in a box that came in the box and I've got what was the other one um the rest of them in a do and roll can I find the flipping roll no I can't I'm sure I took it downstairs to do because I did the rest of it down there. Can I find it down there? No, it's not in my chest of where I keep all my colouring supplies, all the majority of them. I was going to take them on holiday with me, but now I'm not because I can't find them. I'll probably end up taking my Black Widows when I eventually go on holiday. I mind you, by the time I go, which is a few weeks yet, I might find them. So, fingers crossed. This is somewhere. So I'm just doing little sections as you can see, keeping it all together. I'm quite tired, I will admit I did not sleep very well last night. I had a really, really bad dream. It was so bad that when I woke up, I didn't want to go back to sleep because I was afraid that it would, well, I could still see the stream in my head and I, I thought if I go back to sleep, I'm going to end up back in that dream and I do not want that. It was the most horrific dream I've ever had. And I don't often have bad dreams, but the last two nights I've had bad dreams. I think it's because it's the heat. I mean, I'm not saying it's hot here. It's hot here. It's around 24 and a half degrees. Now, that's not too bad for the UK. Not really. It can get hotter. I hope to God it doesn't. It's supposed to have storms next week, which is good. But, um, and people say, oh, that's not that hot. And, and then I've been watching TikToks and it's been cropping up everywhere of these people that live in hotter parts of the world or have lived in hotter parts of the world, like Australia, like um, the South, uh, like Florida even. And Florida's quite bad for its humidity. And then they've come over here and they say, it's nothing like it. It's ridiculous. It's oppressive because our humidity is 95% a lot of the time when it's hot. Yeah, 95% humidity and like 30 degrees and it's it's unbearable, it really is. So while people may laugh at us moaning about it, and we don't forget, uh, when we don't have air conditioning, our, our offices now do, like my office where I work two days a week, tomorrow's the day I go in, it does have air conditioning, but it's not, where is that bit I'm doing now? It's not something that we have in our houses because our houses are built for the cold. I'm sure as climate change carries on, it will most likely change and we'll end up with more air conditioning being in our houses. But I mean, my house is way over 100 years, it's a Victorian terrace. All miners' cottages, these are. So they were built of stone, thick stone and brick. and we've insulated these houses to make them withstand the cold winters that the British Isles usually get and now of course it's all getting too hot so in the summer when we have a few hot days we suffer the cat's trying to come in you alright sir? nope no, she decided not to she's gone back out funny thing the cat is the funniest little critter I've ever seen so there's that so we do have that problem and it is it is rather annoying so tired and again it's because of the heat I'm tired because it is hot yeah, this is a bit I'm looking for right so oh dear oh So it is quite hot here and um, 
I must get the paddling pool out soon to put that up and I'm not good at the heat uh, so you're not sleeping properly I mean, the only person who's sleeping is Jennifer she's been falling asleep really early and then she's been out for the night so she's been falling out at 6 o'clock and then she's out until 6 o'clock she's sleeping which she should be sleeping a good amount of hours because but I don't know bless her up it's so warm so yeah normally I this I would use this part of the day to be doing eBay but I want to do a colour chart haven't done one for a while I, I am so sorry um, there wasn't a May oh, what do I call it uh, haul because I only got four books and I am trying to cut back a bit I, um, I think I only got 11 reading books oh there's the battery I'm going to change the battery and I'll be back in a minute okay I must stop watching as competition is far too fascinating and I'm enjoying it far too much um, yeah what should we do next let's do the little blue bubbles so yeah so as mortician she basically is trying to get people talking about death um, and trying to get people to stop being afraid of it because everybody's going to die which is true um, people are afraid of death uh, it's what they call you call it death avoidance they want to talk about it don't want to know I've told Paul what I want hopefully I'm not going to die for a very long time because who wants to? not me I'm using the wrong pin um, and hopefully you know he'll you know I'm going to put it in my my will next time we update our wills what I want when I die it's, it's not morbid people think talking about death is morbid it's not it's just acceptance that it's a natural part of the life cycle and you know there's so many different things you can do these days from natural burials to having a tomb and, oh, yeah it's up to you but I'm not going to talk about death because I know people don't like that so if you are interested and want to learn more about death processes and not being afraid of it just go check out Caitlin Doughty Oh god, it's escaping now. Oh, it's fallen off the desk. Oh, it's the remote control. Sorry, I won't worry about that. So yeah, so you, you can go and check her out. It's just called Ask a Mortician. So another thing I watch, uh, been, watch, been watching this morning was Adventures with Purpose. That's the team that go around searching again for dead bodies. Um, no, for missing people who have gone missing within their vehicle and may have ended up in a body of water. Nine times out of ten. They don't find anything, but they have helped like 23, um, found 23 missing people and put their families and friends out of their misery and, and brought some kind of resolution. So, But it's all not about, not all about death and destruction on, there's a lot of it though, uh, YouTube. I'm not a morbid person, I'm a very happy, cheerful person. You probably wouldn't think that, but it's just I'm not afraid of it because we are all going to die. Um, I'm, I'm more afraid of... Uh, my dad, um, Paul, my mum, so on, Jennifer dying, and myself. Uh, even then I know it's going to happen at some point. So. But obviously I've been watching, I watch a lot of booktube, so unfortunately more book recommendations coming that way. My colouring ones, I love, do love watching uh, people colour. Now I know that one of them, I was watching the other day, I watch it all. I was using a non-dominant hand um, challenge type thing. So I'm predominantly left-handed I use my left hand when I'm colouring um, but I, I think I might uh, find a picture and, and have a go at that um, in the next week or so and, and have a go at using my right hand to colour for a change um, it would be for pencils because there's more control and if you make a mistake you can erase it <laughs> uh, I will admit I, I can be pretty ambidextrous and, and had I used my right hand um, a lot more when I was younger I probably would be able to write and do stuff with my right hand almost as good as my left. For instance there are things I can't do left hand, I can't use a pair of scissors left handed. Um, hold a knife and fork normally. I even wear my watch if I have a watch I don't usually wear watches but I want to have my Fitbit on I wear it on my left hand whereas 
a left-handed person would normally wear it on their right hand. So if you watch something like Sherlock Holmes, he'll say, oh, this was a, a right-handed person. Well, how do you know? Well, they wore their watch on the, the, the left hand. Not strictly true because I'm left-handed and I wear my watch on my left hand. I guess it's because when you're writing, if you've got a watch on your, your wrist, um, it gets in the way, which would make sense. So, hey. But uh, I like to be different. Now one of us has got to go to the school this afternoon for a meeting about her going up to reception. Paul will probably go because his mate Dan's going for their kid, for his daughter Alex who's Jennifer's friend. It's too long for her. I should probably, uh, it's five o'clock so I'll stay home and give Jennifer her tea and then me and Paul will have it when he gets back. Uh, that way you can sit with Dan. Can't take, we would have taken Jennifer, it would only been like half an hour, but we got no one to watch her at the moment, so my dad's too, well he's not too old, he'd have her all day if he had his way, but uh, uh. so I mean I'm not going to colour for long, I just wanted to catch up with you and, and say I am sorry that we haven't had one of these for a while. I will do a video about colouring with the non-dominant hands, I think that's a really good idea. Um, I'll probably do a colour and chat that way because I think that'd be quite funny. See how it gets on. But it will be a pencil one, so I'll find a picture we can colour. That'll be quite fun. I think we'll do that. I might do some filming outside because the weather's better. As long as it, once it cools off a bit, I might do some colour and chats outside. I've got to find my charger. Oh, it might. I think it's down there actually for my uh, camera batteries. I just can't find them. That's my phone vibrating. Oh, it's warm. So yeah, I need to get back to EB. I'll try and do some of that tonight, I think. Uh, just simply because I'm not making any money at the moment and I need to start. Oh, it's warm. I am struggling. I'm not good with the heat. I'm in about 20 minutes in there. So I've got all this double page to do. <laughs> oh, it's going to take forever, isn't it? Look, but I can do this off off camera as well if I feel up. So I might take it downstairs and have a go. But I do really need to find the um, charger. So I've got a new camera for the weekly vlog. I mentioned a while back that the camera I had was falling apart and probably wouldn't work for much longer and it did give up the ghost not long back so I now have a, a different one uh, the Panasonic Lumix I really like it it's just weird getting used to it because the buttons in a completely different place it's in a really weird place makes sense if you're filming front ways but when you're filming towards you it's kind of weird uh, I'm, I'm gonna get used to it I've only been only had it a week I've been using it this week I'm doing a weekly vlog this week with it so that's cool. And I'll uh, die from heat exhaustion at this rate. So I'm run out of drink. And so the weekly vlog will be back this week. It will be up on Sunday because I'm doing Sunday to Saturday for a change. Just to see how it goes. At the moment I keep forgetting to, to do it. But there you go. Absolutely shattered. So, oh, it's it's just the heat. Even the kids aren't playing out outside at the nursery. It's too hot for them. They're not allowed out, which it is a shame for them. But they've got to look after them. Their priority is to keep the kids safe, obviously. So, it's too hot. It's too hot. Yeah, I think it's too hot. I can't stand being out there for more than five minutes. I went, had to go out last night to pack an order, so I did have an order, it's gone off today, I'll mark that off later when I remember, and um, I went up in the evening and it was still boiling hot, and I, uh, I packed it up, got the washing off the line, because I had washing on the line drying, because why not if it's hot, and oh my god, I was sweating so hard when I came back in, 
had some mango sorbet, which was absolutely lovely to cool me down. Sat there with Paul for a bit, Jennifer was out, and then at 8 o'clock went to bed. Couldn't sleep though, had that nightmare. I had a few odd dreams, one was driving somewhere, a very weird driving dream. But it, that wasn't a really bad dream though, that was an alright dream. in a minute if I have to go and get Jennifer. I'm just keeping an eye on the time. In about 20, uh, 35 minutes. So uh, we'll do another five minutes. And that'll do. I mean, you'd think I'd have tons of things to tell you, but I really haven't. We went out for lunch Sunday for Father's Day. It was lovely. Um, at the Prince of Wales. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, food as always from Jason's team up there and yeah it was nice nice dinner did the shopping on Tuesday instead because obviously we were out on Sunday Marilyn is on the cover of yours retro magazine because it's the 60th anniversary of her death in August uh, article is written by Michelle Morgan, the biographer. She's one of my best friends. Nice to uh, know that. I will tidy this up with the fine end later on. It's quite funny because it, the the TV keeps flipping up photographs, and sometimes it's coloring pictures from ages ago, and sometimes it's, it's pictures of Jennifer. There's some pictures of eBay stuff that I've got to list that I haven't. The cat, obviously. Me and Paul. All sorts of bits come up on this. It's quite funny, actually. Oh, we're back to the Care Bears. So basically, when I take photographs on my phone, it connects pretty much immediately to Amazon photos and uploads them to Amazon Photos. So everything on my phone is, is safe. It's stuff on Amazon Photos straight away. And some of the videos too. I'm not worried about the videos, I go in and delete them. Unless it's something I want to keep. But generally it's, it's TikTok stuff which I don't need to keep. I suppose people do. And they use them again, but not me. I'm like, once it's up I'm not worrying about it anymore. <laughs> He's gone. That's another nice uh, little colouring picture from last year. I think it was last year. I've lost count of how many books I've got. bought a few this month, but not a huge amount. I bought one for me, which was the new Ava Brown um, set, which is, oh, what's it called? Pro uh, Promises or something? It's a children's range. And it was just kawaii foods, which I thought was cute. And bloody Jennifer's got a nicked it. I mean, there are two sets of each page in it, so I will get to do some, and I should just take my pages out and put them in a folder. And then when the covers, when she's finished with it, I'll take the cover off and put that in as well. <laughs> Don't bug her for that. I have bought her a colouring book. Because she likes colouring, she'll sit there, she'll see the colour, I'm like, come on then, let's get the colours out. And we'll use pencils or pens or whatever. And we'll crack on and we'll, we'll have a little colour together in the book. For me it's just fun because I don't colour properly in it, I just fun colour with her, so. Okay, so this is quite a boring picture because it, it is all the same old, same old. I'm just doing all the background at the moment. I'll put grey on, on the tail of the mermaid and some glitter on it as well. Oh, I've actually... Some of them have crowns. One of them has a crown. One of them has a crown. I've only just noticed that. Anyway, I am actually going to call it a day because I'm shattered and I need to cool off before I go and get Jennifer. So, as you can see, there's still a lot to do on this one. Um, I've done a little bit that corner, a little bit this corner, and as you can see, that too. I will try and do some more of this, but um, I will also try and do another colouring chat or colouring whip, whipping chat. I've got so many of them. Uh, very very soon with the next day or so 
So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's taken so long for me to get back to you and do one. Oh, it's been awful. I've been terrible, I know. Um, however, I am back. I will be doing more of them. Um, so I will see you very, very soon in the next video. Bye, guys.